Hey, back with another video, and today I'm going to try to make this as short as possible, but I um, wanted to talk a little bit about uh, my upcoming plans for my bikes and talk a little bit about one of the bikes I have that I might be selling. It's kind of hard for me even to get it out. I don't want to sell it, but I think I am. And here's the reason why, and, and here's what's going on. So currently right now in my bike inventory, I have... Um, Three bikes. One's in North Carolina. I have two here that I normally ride on a regular basis. That's the, the Nashiki Colorado that you see me doing a lot of upgrade videos for and the uh, GT Avalanche um, that I've pretty much already upgraded with everything that I'm going to do to it. So I'm about almost a year in doing these uh, videos and mountain bike riding and it's been a fun year. Um, I started like around last December, so in a couple of months it'll be a full year. And when I first started, you know, I, I didn't understand a lot of things and I didn't really know a lot about the sport because I had just gotten into it. And so over time, um, I'm starting to kind of realize, um, having some different ideas about how I want to go about uh, continuing with, with mountain biking. And so... What I'm getting at is I think I'm going to go with a full suspension uh, pretty soon, but I'm going to have to save up for it. But if I do that, I'm going to have to sell one of my bikes. And between the GT Avalanche and the Nashiki Colorado, if I had to choose between the two, it's all definitely a hard choice. They're both good bikes and I like them for different reasons, but I think I'm going to stick with the Colorado only because it's the first bike that I had. I went through hell trying to get it. And it's the first bike that I crashed on. It's the first one that I've had like a mishap and had to replace parts and all of that. So I've been through a lot with that bike. So I've kind of gotten uh, to grow, you know, some love for it and, 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 and have stories with that bike. So because of that, I think it's harder for me to give that one up. And um, I love the one by system on it. And now with the upgrades I recently did, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious to how it's going to perform now. So I definitely want to, want to keep the Colorado. So with that being said, the GT Avalanche, which I just got not too long ago. I love this bike. Number one is a 29er. Um, the, the, the difference in the tires make the world of a difference to me when I'm riding. Um, I also like the fact that uh, that thing is fast. I, I can't get to those speeds on the Colorado as I can with that, with the GT Avalanche. Um, and it's just an overall good bike. I have not had any problems at all whatsoever with the GT Avalanche. And I'm talking about no squealing, no squeaking, no creaking, no, no sliding or mishaps, nothing coming off or falling apart. Um, I haven't had any any issues at all with the shifting, um, nothing, not one problem at all. It's been the smoothest bike that I've ridden so far, and um, my friend in Miami has the same bike, and he said the same thing. Like that bike is smooth, and it, and that's really how I dis how I can describe the GT Avalanche experience. It's smooth and it's fast. The Colorado is more, I call it the beast because it can just go, I feel like it's a tank. It's heavy, but it can just go over everything with ease. And it's still a joy to ride, but it's just a little bit different fit and feel to it than the GT Avalanche. But that Avalanche is a really good bike. Um, so with that being said, to all my subscribers out here who are listening, I live in Orlando, Florida. Um, I travel all different parts of Florida. I'm in Tampa often. I'm in... Um, uh, Miami often, anywhere from Orlando down south to Miami, I can get there pretty easily. And um, anywhere on the East Coast and West Coast from Jacksonville uh, to Daytona Beach, Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete, Sarasota, I go to often, um, Gainesville, any of those areas, maybe even Tallahassee. If you know anyone that's interested um, let me know and I'm going to sell the GT Avalanche uh, pretty soon. So here's here's the deal with the, with me selling it though and I, what I want to get across to people. Right now, um, this bike is the most, um, how can I word it? It's the, the best quality bike that Dick Sporting Goods sells in store. Now they do sell 
more advanced bikes online, but not in store. The GT Avalanche is the top of the line one that they sell in store. Um, here in Orlando, I can't speak other dick, uh, about other dick stores, but here they can't keep them in stock. Uh, the one that I had bought this one from had about 10 of them. They've been gone. Um, my rep that I go to to talk to there says basically whenever they get one or two in, they sell immediately by the weekend. So it's a hot seller. It's, it's probably going to outtake um, the GT Aggressor Pro. And if you notice, if you look at the views on all of my videos, the GT Avalanche review has over, I think, 10K views on it. It's the most popular video that I've made. People are interested in this bike. For the components that are on it, you can't beat it for the price that I bought it at. And this is something that I talked about in the review. Right now, Dix is selling this bike for almost $1,100. That's extremely too high for this bike. Um, if you can get it between, at first I would say if you could only get it between five or six hundred, it's a good deal. But honestly, I think if you can get this bike for seven hundred dollars out of Dick Sporting Goods, brand new, I, I think that you you still have a good bike and a good deal in your hands. Um, if you look at my comments, some people were asking me how would I compare it to the Marlin. Um, I've only ridden on a Marlin. Five, not a six or a seven, but from what I understand, the seven is definitely has better components, but it's a lot more expensive bike. So I would probably choose the Marlin over that, the seven, but the six and the five, this can definitely compete. So um, it's just it's just whatever you feel you know fits you best. But here's the thing. So I'm not I have no reason to lie. I have the receipts for proof. I bought this bike when it was on sale for five hundred plus tax, plus I got the three year warranty. Um, which comes out to about, I don't know, 575 plus tax, a little about six, let's just say 620, $625 total, right? Um, that's stock. That's brand new. You won't find this bike that cheap anytime soon. From my understanding, if you look at all of, not just Dick's, but other department stores who are selling name brand bikes, Bikes have been going up recently and are very expensive because of what, from my understanding, of the so-called tariffs that are coming, uh, that these bikes are going to be taxed coming from China. And it's making realtors and bike shops charge more for their bikes. From my understanding, the Avalanche will go on sale around the holidays, but it would not go back to what it did earlier this spring when it dropped down to 500 Basically, from what I've been told, this bike would not become that cheap anymore. Um, so because of that, um, I'm going to sell it for exactly what I bought it for, for the 600, 620 or whatever the case may be. Um, but that's stock. That means I'm going to put the original tires back on, which I have not even rode on the original tires. I changed them out before I even took the bike out. So everything will be back stock. I have all the original components, the handlebar, the stem, the seat, the pedals, all of that. Um, now, I've ridden this bike, I think the total, I tried to count, is between five and seven times. So the bike has absolutely no scratches on it, no nicks, any of that. It, if I wash this bike and clean the chain, you would think this, uh, which I am going to wash it, but um, you would think it's brand new. I could literally sell this bike uh, for, brand, for brand new, but I have ridden it. I actually have videos on it, so I mean, it is what it is. Um, but... Yeah, I will sell it stock for what I paid for it, which is a hell of a deal. And um, if you want the upgrades that I have on it, then I would charge you what I paid, or that person who ever buys it, um, what I paid for these for these items. And I got these items on sale at discounted prices because of my relationship with certain people, certain companies who looked out for me, and I have the receipts for every single item. So. If you're interested in buying it as is with all the components, then I'll add all of that up. I can provide proof of my orders and emails of confirmations and, and total it up. And I'll sell everything for what I got it for, which you can't beat that either. Because if many of you ended up buying some of these components, you would not be able to get it as cheap as I got it for. And so you're basically getting all of my savings that I did minus the um, grips, I paid regular price for the grips, and I think I paid regular price for the seat. But many people probably wouldn't want those grips or seats because they were kind of, conf 
made more for me. But anything else, like the tires and all of that, I got on sale, the Maxxis um, Minions and things of that nature. So I'll put all of that, that stuff in the description. But it's an awesome bike. You can't beat it for what I'm selling it for. And this is just really to, to save a little bit of money so I can save up to get a full suspension, which still is going to be probably another six months from now. So I'm going to just use the Colorado until I save up. Um, I'm not trying to spend more than $2,000 for a full suspension bike. I'm really looking at a few models. Uh, the Trance and the Giant Stance both have my attention right now, but there's some other ones I'm looking at too. So we'll see how that goes. Anyway, um, I just think that the, the reason why, another reason why I'm selling it is because of the fact that it would be nice to have a hardtail and a full suspension. Uh, right now, I just have the two hardtails that I ride here in Florida. And so that's really the main reason why. Um, I see guys on the trails with the full suspensions and, um, they haul ass on that thing and they look very comfortable <laughs> and not saying I usually stand up most of the time when I'm riding. I just, I just like that kind of a feel when I'm on the bike, you know, going downhill or, or riding the trails. But, um, I think with the full suspension, it would definitely be a f cool, fun ride as well. And so I just kind of want to switch it up a little bit. But again, um, you know, just hit me up. And if you don't want it, it's no need in, 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 in leaving crazy comments or anything on there. If you don't want it, cool. It's, it's, it's all good. Um, I have it on sale locally on offer up and let go and things of that nature as well. But basically, I'm offering it at a discounted price that you're not going to find this bike for anymore. And from my understanding, after talking to my guy Dix, he basically said that as long as I have the little slip that shows that I bought the warranty, the extended three-year warranty, which I do have that, um, it is transferable. You're good to go. Uh, again, you can look at all the specs on this thing. It's hydraulic brakes. I think it's a 100 millimeter fork, 29-inch um, tires. Um, it has the triple uh, aluminum frame design. This is a size large. It's a dope bike. Fast as hell. No problems at all. Um, it's just a really good, good solid bike. Um, so anyway, that's all I wanted to kind of say about that. And so if you know anyone or if you're interested in it, definitely hit me up and, and let me know. And I have a lot of extra stuff around here from bike bags to um, just all kind of accessories. I have other types of grips. I have other pedals that you may be interested in. So I'll definitely work out something with you guys. If you're already one of my subscribers, I'll definitely look out as much as I can. Um, and so, yeah, we'll just kind of, kind of play it by ear and, and go, go that route. So just wanted to give you an update and kind of talk about that a little bit. Again, if you want to kind of see the bike, it's kind of sitting up in my, the lighting is kind of bad in here because it's nighttime right now. But this again is how it's pretty much looking right now with all of the upgrades on it, the Maxxis tires, the Chester pedals, the seat, the, um, with the uh, race face, um, which one is this one again? It's not the Atlas, Turbine, I think. Yeah, this is the Turbine stem and the Turbine handlebars as well. So I also have some brand new red Chester pedals that if you're interested in, I could, I could throw in instead of the green ones. I could take the green ones off if you just want a clean red and black um, colorway on the bike. Uh, it, it's awesome, man. I, I can't, I cannot stress anything more about this bike it, it it's really really cool um the mud guards on there the wtb frame um yeah what can i say the hydraulic brakes this this thing is is it's just a really good solid bike uh, i can definitely easily tell that it's it's going to be dick's number one selling bike for a long time as long as they continue to push it out in the stores and so yeah it has the upgraded um shimano Altus, not the tourney. The tourney is like the basic one. So it has upgrade there. Um, kickstand, yeah, I know people say, why do you have a kickstand? Kickstands come in way more handy than you think. That's why there's no scratches on this bike. But on my Nashiki, you have all kinds of scratches on it because I can't put a kickstand on it. So yeah, that kickstand gets in the way. I mean, doesn't get in the way at all. So trust me, it's, it comes in handy more than you would think. As long as it doesn't bother me or get me stuck or caught up on any rocks or anything, I'm going to keep it on there because it's definitely helps me uh, 
protect the bike more than you think on there. So other than that, guys, that's about it. Uh, so I just wanted to throw this out there. If anyone kind of knows anyone who's interested, if you're interested in getting into the sport, definitely recommend getting this bike. Here's the reason why. Also, the GT Aggressor Pro, which is a lower level um, entry level mountain bike that Dick sells, which was their number one, which still may be their number one selling bike. Um, from my understanding, would not go lower than $400. Now, if you remember my review about that bike, I told you I wouldn't buy it less than, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, than 300 when they go and sell for 299 They used to go and sell for 299 $300, and he's saying now that they won't go down less than four to 450 Um So those bikes aren't even going to go as cheap as they usually are during the holidays or when they went on sale in the spring. So if you're going to pay $450 for a GT Aggressor Pro, you might as well spend like another 150 and get a much better upgraded bike with 29 inch wheels and hydraulic brakes. Because the thing is, is you're going to have to do upgrades to that Aggressor Pro. I'm not downplaying the Aggressor Pro. It's a good bike as well. But you got to spend more money into it to do the upgrades to make it a better bike than buying it and just riding it stop. Especially those tires. You're going to have to get rid of those immediately. So. Other than that, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Yeah, I do understand that um, the other bikes out there that are in the same price range that people may, you know, want to check out or can go back and forth about what's better. All I can tell you is my experience with this bike has been great. I've had absolutely no problems. I'm still debating whether I even want to do this or not, but I'm just going to jump out on a limb and go ahead and 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 try to sell it. But yeah, it's going to be hard to part with this one too because. Uh, I just know the quality of it is 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 a lot better than than most bikes, and um, it's it's fast, and it's just a it's just a good good riding uh, mountain bike, hardtail mountain bike. So you can't go wrong with it. Um, if you're interested, hit me up. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let me know. Hope everyone's been doing well. I'll catch you in the next video.